One of the most effective ways to uh, stay visible at night, even day, is a good pair of lights. Uh, it, they are required by law. We want to make sure you get a good set of lights for you to be a lot more visible during the day. Just an FYI guys, I'm not sure of any of you, but you're pretty much invisible at night if you don't have any lights. So make sure you get a good set of lights for yourself um, so you're always visible at night. Alright guys, so next I want to talk about some common hand signals when you're riding either with a group or by yourself. I want to make sure that you, it's clear you're pointing left when you're making a left turn so that the driver behind you can see that you're turning left or if you're in a group and right turn if you make sure your right hand is thrown towards the right make sure the car behind you can see if you're in a group uh, technically per DMV it's this year to make a right turn but either way it would work just keep an eye out for both of them also when you see a pothole or uh, something on the ground like that it's going to be a lot more hazardous towards the group for yourself just let them know point down here like this let them know there's a pothole another cool tip when you're riding in a group and you notice uh, everyone's stopping at once you want to make sure you have your hand up like this or if it's easier for you just yell stop rider down hands on the brake so you have a lot more control when you're in a group you want to make sure that you're very loud and clear you want to make sure you let people know that there is a uh, pothole up ahead, pedestrian, car up, or if uh, flat or anything like that, you want to make sure that you're very loud and clear. Another helpful tip for you to remember is when you're approaching a red light, you want to make sure that you are aware that there are other cars out behind you on the side. You want to make sure you stop. Don't be that person that runs a red light and makes all the cyclists look bad, please. So make sure that you stop for the red light. You could pull up to the front, uh, splitting lanes, you pull up Pull up all the way to the front, make sure that you're uh, in front of everyone, make sure that they're not they're gonna see you, they're not gonna try to pass by you, so make sure that you're always a lot safer that way. So you want to make sure that when you're either in a narrow lane or wide lane, it's always a lot safer to ride the middle of the lane, take the full lane, don't take the sidewalk. There's a lot more pedestrians on and off the sidewalk, but on the road it's less likely for someone to you know jump in front of you from the sidewalk. And also, uh, when you're in the middle lane, you can be a lot more aware of cars opening their doors on your right-hand side. And cars are a lot more likely to, you know, go around you as opposed to going right next to you if you're right next to the lane like that. Just so you're aware, in California, it is legal for you to split lanes so you can get up to the front of the lane and you'd be a lot more safer than as opposed to being in the back. Uh, another helpful tip, Looking over your shoulder, you want to make sure you make eye contact with the driver so that they're aware that you're there and that you know, they can see you and they can just drive by you. One last tip for the road I want to give you guys is uh, when you're riding by yourself, you want to make sure that you're aware of your surroundings, especially at night, in the day, any, it could happen any time. You want to make sure that when you're turning left, right, with your handling signals, you also want to make sure you look over your shoulder to make sure that it's clear for you to merge over.